Behind me is a rural home that's 268 square meters. It's for one family, but two generations. There is six bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a lot of mud on site right now. I found my wheelbarrow. I don't know what it's doing all the way out there. As you can see, <laughs> sheesh, as you can see, other than like this whole thing being like quicksand, another challenge to a big rural site like this is how do you landscape all of this and how do you know where to start and stop? Because you're building like a brand new house and you're building all these like new mint clean surfaces and somehow at, at some point it needs to tie in with all the land. Film on a building site, they said, it'll be, um, It'll be easy as. At some point you gotta stop doing like lawns and gardens and you've just gotta let it roll into natural land. The key is, here comes our doors. I mean like all of our building sites are wet and muddy but this one in particular, we've had trucks stuck in the driveway, we've had to fight the council to even start the build. We've still got no water on site. We'd built the house and closed it in before we even had power on site. Those are just a number of the issues we're facing on a semi-rural site like this. It's the same way of building, but a totally different approach. One of the coolest things about jib going up on the walls is you start to get a sense of the space. In this house, we've gone for a 2550 stud. In a normal 24 stud, I could just touch the ceiling. So it's only that much bigger, but when you're standing in the space, you can feel that it's bigger. Uh, on a 2550 stud, we'll make our internal joinery and our external joinery 2.2 meters instead of two meters. Little subtle changes that make a big difference to the feel of the house. Let's, um, so they have their own entranceway. Technically this is two houses in one and this part on its own is a really cleverly designed, uh, what we would call a family flat or a granny flat here in New Zealand. Kitchen, dining and lounge. Fireplace in the corner over there. We're building a deck out there for the beautiful view of the hills and their farmland. Yeah, they get to soak up all of this space. Got a corner window in there as well, which means above it we've had to engineer a beam to meet in the corner and catch a roof load, send it to the sides all the way down. It's a cool way of giving you a sense of space. Got a large bathroom here on the right. Main bedroom, second bedroom, that's all you need. At least go and check out the other side. From the large double garage, we would go through into the house. We've got master bedroom over here on the left. We've got hallway storage. We've got kids bedroom, kids bedroom. Another large family bathroom, kids bedroom. Little built-in office here as well, which will be awesome. Media room here is gonna have doors in this whole opening uh, cavity sliders. So the sliders will start here and slide into the edge. And then this will be media room, TV on that wall there. We've got a kitchen over here with the scullery in the corner here. And this end will have a fireplace in the corner over there as well. So we're about to finish jib and the plasterer has been chasing us. The next thing we'll do is all the skirting and architraves. Painter will come in and then it's hard floor, kitchen, plumber, electrician, and we're on the home stretch. So we've got our septic tank in over the corner there that will take the sewage and process that. We've now got to get in uh, 25,000 litre water tanks. Still no water, we'll take the trailer away today. And that's our solution until we get water on site. Even then, we, we don't normally fill the tanks up and hand running water until the very end. So just one of those things, like you're starting a site, there's no running water, every trade needs running water. The boys have done the piles and barriers, we wanted to get them in before the drainage went in so that we weren't having to dig around all that stuff. Once we get a fine window, we'll come back, we'll do joists, we'll do decking. Uh, 
Uh, these tanks are from the Crest Road job. We had one of those going on each of the sites up there. It's cool to be able to reuse them. Anyway, let's get them back to the office. So what I want to do is start getting going back to getting you in at frames up. Cheers, Rob. That's our doorman. He supplies all our interior doors. He's done so for like all of the houses I've built for the last couple of years. Local factory. We use actually a lot of our suppliers are local and real good. You know, you can talk to him on this site about two more jobs coming up. Sweet, I'm gonna, I'll hook that up now. Cheers, Wade. Oh, how's that precision? One of the added bonuses of a reversing camera. Bang on. How to reverse and reverse a trailer coming soon. Oh, that would probably still make a good video, eh? Sweet. Smoko. You know what I love to do with Smoko? As well as eating pies and drinking coffee, I love to write down my thoughts. And I've started a mailing list, nzbuilder.co.nz slash smokochat, where I talk about business, the industry, all the things I've learned over the last 10 years building homes like this. Let's get back to Smoko.